Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and in today's video we have this 2022 Mitsubishi Outlander and we're going to do the front grille chrome delete installation for this vehicle. So as you can see, this is how it looks before doing the installation on the front panel. It's just a regular chrome grille and this is how it looks after the installation. So we use the gloss black material, that way it matches with the color that it comes with on the front grille and it also gives it a more sporty look as well. If you like the product, the info for the product will be linked below. But with that being said, let's get started with the installation video. So before we start with the installation, we need to make sure we prep the whole front panel. So in order to prep it, all you need is water and baby shampoo mixed together in a spray bottle. Once you have your solution, spray it onto a clean microfiber towel and just make sure you start removing any contaminants that the grill may have. And also once you're done cleaning the panel, make sure everything's completely dry. That way the adhesive on the film is able to tack down to the panel because if there's still any water residue left over wherever you're installing it and it touches the adhesive side of the film, it's not going to stick even if you apply heat to the film. It's just going to continue lifting over time. So make sure that everything's completely clean and dry. So once you finish prepping the panel, now we can start with the installation. We're going to start by installing the front piece that goes on this section first. So just place the film onto the panel, lay it on the panel. That way we could work on this section first. So lift the film carefully. And all you need to do is just align it to this edge here. So it should go like this. Make sure you're covering the chrome. So if you need to lift it and readjust it, you can. So just align it as you go. And remember, if you need to lift and readjust it, you can. Just be careful when you're doing so. You don't want to accidentally tear the film. Grab your squeegee and slowly start tacking down the whole film. So this part is secured and just finish off with the rest here. Remember, take your time when you're doing this part. You want to cover the whole chrome panel here. So for the rest of the installation, just follow the design until you reach it on top and continue on until you reach it to this edge. And make sure you have a little bit of material that way it covers this top section of the panel here. So it should be like this. And now you would grab your squeegee and just start tacking down everything and remove the fingers. Once you finish aligning the film, grab your heat gun and start applying heat on this whole corner section of the film. That way we could start tagging it down and removing these small fingers that you may encounter on the edges. So just apply a little bit of heat, help it tack down. Start on the curve first and then work your way one side and to the other side. And with this section here, you do have a little bit of gap between the headlight and the actual chrome panel. That gap, tuck in the film as much as you can in order to cover the chrome underneath. But whatever is excess material, then you would just trim off. So to tuck in, just lift the film carefully. And with your squeegee, just start tucking in little by little as much as you can. And just continue on until you reach to the edge here. Now we have a little bit of excess material. Just insert the blade and then carefully trim off the excess material. And it looks like that. Same here around this corner here. Create an outline of where you're going to trim off the excess material. Once you created the outline, then carefully trim off the excess material. There is a small gap right here in between the panel and the bumper. Just be careful when you're trimming. Only follow that gap and you should be good. Once you finish trimming off excess material, grab your heat gun, apply heat around the edges, that way the film stays tacked down in case it did lift after we trim off the material. Okay, now we move on to the next piece. Okay, so now we're moving on with this section of the installation. So with this one, align it right on the top edge where the headlight is located. You make sure you give yourself a little bit of material to tuck in underneath in order to cover the chrome. So what you can do is place the film here, tuck it underneath just a little bit, and that should be good. And then just follow the rest of the design. So lift it carefully and align it to this edge here. slowly work your way until you reach it to the bottom. 
just like that. You would go ahead and grab your squeegee, start tacking down the whole film. Make sure to remove any air bubbles that are underneath the film. And if you happen to have extra material here, there is a small gap where you could insert your blade and you could trim off the extra material. Just create the outline with your finger first and then you could trim it off. First apply heat, that way we help the adhesive on the film tack down faster and then we could trim off the extra material. Create the outline and trim off extra material. And don't forget to trim off the extra material on the bottom. Apply heat one more time just to help seal the film. And then we can move on with the bottom section now. Okay, so now we're moving on to this side. So all you need to do is make sure you align it right on the top edge here. And once you have it aligned, just slowly work your way until you reach it to this lower section here. And also just make sure you're following the curved panel here and you should be good. Grab your squeegee and just help tack it down. And with this one, there is just a small little gap here where you could tuck in this excess material. Just push it with your squeegee inside, tuck it inside, and then apply a little bit of heat and then you should be good. Okay, and now we're moving on to the front piece. So now we're moving on with this front panel here. So with this one, place the film here, that way it doesn't move as we're aligning this section of the film. So align it right on the edge, just like that, and make sure you're covering the chrome section here as well. So lift it to readjust it and align it. So it should be like this. And then just help it tack down, and that's it. And now just follow along with the rest of the film until you reach it here. So lift it carefully, align it to this top section until you reach it to the end, just like that. Once you place the film, grab your squeegee, start tagging it down to secure it. Make sure you remove any air bubbles underneath the film. And once you're done tagging it down, grab your heat gun and apply heat to start securing the film to the panel. And with this one, you're going to help it tuck underneath and then the excess material get, can get trimmed off right in this small gap here. So just tack it down first and then trim off the excess material. So once you've tucked it in where the fog light is located, grab your blade and trim off the excess material here. Carefully do it, and it should just go up to this section here. And in here, just apply a little bit of heat, just to help it tack down once more, since it did lift a little bit, and you, you would go ahead and trim off this extra material as well. And now we move on to the next piece here. So this next one, it covers this whole section here. So make sure you, all you need to do is just align it here where you left off and give yourself material to cover this small curve here. And just follow the design like this and just lift it and place it back down and everything should just tack down smoothly. Grab your squeegee, help it tack down. Take your time, make sure you're aligning it and wrap it underneath the panel here. And before we trim off any excess material, grab your heat gun, apply heat to the panel. Around this section, you could tuck in a little bit of material underneath the panel. So just grab your squeegee and tuck in as much as you can. And the rest will just get trimmed off. Try to go slowly on this section here. Find that gap and then just trim off the excess material slowly. Lift the film carefully and it should look like that. And now we move on to the last piece that covers this other section here. Okay, so for this last piece, align it where you left off with this last section here. So make sure you're covering the whole chrome. So align it. And if you need to lift and readjust it, you can just take your time aligning it. So it should be like this. Make sure you're covering the chrome on this section and the rest should just follow along until you reach it here. Now it's covering the whole chrome that was exposed on this end. So let me lift it to show you guys. So now it's covering this whole section here. Once you apply it, grab your squeegee, tack it down, 
Make sure you're tacking down around the curve. If you're having trouble around this section here, tacking it down because the film keeps lifting, just apply a little bit of heat and then you'll be able to tack it down. But other than that, everything else should just follow along easily, tacking it down. And then once you're finished tacking it down, grab your heat gun and just apply heat all over the film. And then once we're done applying heat and helping that heat cell activate a little faster, then we could trim off the extra material. Same process as how it was done on this lower section here. Find that gap and trim off the excess material. There is a gap, this gap is a little bit more bigger. So just be cautious, still go slow when you're trimming, but you'll have more room to work with when you're trimming on this end here. And then for this section, there is a gap too as well. Create that outline and then trim off the excess material carefully. And we're done with this side, now we move on to the front piece. Now that we finished with the side piece, now we can move on with the middle section. So with this one, this one's the only one that's going to come out as a whole piece because this is one whole panel and there's no cutouts like the two top ones here. So with this one, just align it from one end, work your way until you reach it to the other end. It's pretty simple. Just make sure everything is covered. Check both sides. You are going to have excess material on one end wherever you start. The other side will have a little bit of excess material. That could get trimmed off afterwards. Just focus on tacking down the film first. Remove any bubbles and then we could trim off the excess material. Okay, remember you could tuck in on this top section here. But if you still have a little bit of excess material, then just trim it off. Wherever you have extra material, trim it off on the edge. Just trim it off slowly. There is a gap. And just continue on until you reach it to this end and trim off here. Before you move on with the next piece, you can apply heat on the film. That way it starts healing a little faster and just helping it tack down in case it is still lifting anywhere. The same steps that were done here, you would repeat it for the last two here and for these two sides here, same thing. The only difference is it's just smaller. But other than that, same steps and you should be good. So once you finish with the whole installation for the front panel, the last thing to do is to post seat the entire film. That way we help the adhesive on the film activate faster. And if there's still any film lifting anywhere around the panel, we just help it tack down. And so just take your time when you're doing this, apply heat everywhere. And then once you're done with this process, you're done with the installation. Thank you for choosing Bower Tech Design. As a small business, your support means everything to us. If you loved your product, please drop a review. If you have questions or issues, don't forget to message us via email. Once again, thank you so much for the support from our family to yours. So that concludes the installation video for the front grill chrome delete installation for the 2022 Mitsubishi Outlander. We hope that this video helped you guys out with the installation. If it did, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell. That way you don't miss any of our upcoming installation videos. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.